Happy, Happy first, first day, day of, of fall, fall y'all. <laughs> so we've had some cooler weather today and we just wanted to wish you all a happy first day of fall. Uh, some of people are probably having a lot cooler weather than us. What do you think? Yeah, well, it was 63 this morning, so that was pretty good. For us, that's very good. So, honey, what's some things you know about fall? Well, it's the equinox. Um, I believe that's where we're going to have the same amount of light. Um, the sun has reached its center point, I guess, where... Uh, should be 12 and 12 something similar to that equinox means equal actually so yeah. yeah and of course i have some notes before i start talking about the fun stuff um they let's see fall was called harvest because of the harvest moon the full moon is closest to autumn equinox equinox so uh I'll be wanting to look out for the harvest moon this year, won't you? Yeah, that'd be pretty, hopefully. Those we'll big orange ones. Yeah, I know you nice. uh, You mentioned something about weight gain. Hey, I didn't mention nothing about weight well, gain. Well, in your notes, oh. you mentioned you know, about fall foods, you know, that are... <laughs> a lot of the fall foods lack vitamin D, and uh, vitamin D is where you... Um, you get most of your energy, you know, vitamin D from the sun, unless you, you know, your body makes it. But then again, uh, when you're short, like I was for a while, I, uh, I had, uh, had to go to the doctor and anyway, he put me on vitamin D and I guess I feel better. I don't know, but they claim that vitamin D is one of the things that, that, uh, wards off uh, COVID actually. It's part of, part of the, uh, the actual uh, immunities is vitamin D. But anyway. Well, I know when I go to my doctor for my annual visit, uh, she always asks, do I need more vitamin D? And I always tell her, look at this suntan. Do you think I need more vitamin D? <laughs> <laughs> but, but it also uh, reduces the fat breakdown and it stores fat too. So if you take vitamin D. And uh, also the weight gain in the fall comes from all those yummy pumpkin pies and pumpkin bread and pumpkin coffee and everything else pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. My arm's getting tired holding this up already. <laughs> and so some notes about the leaves I took, which here, our leaves don't change color. They're evergreens, but up well, north. We do have a couple of trees. Um, they are uh, Chinese tallow trees are what they call popcorn trees and uh, those will actually give us fall colors the purples and the maroons and the yellows but all the rest of the trees and we don't have any of those anymore we used to uh, I think there's one out in the pond on that island oh. so it is really a pretty tree yeah um, it says that the yellow and orange colors always are there until the the chlorophyll decreases you know that's how the the purple leaves and and uh the red colors and stuff they claim that they're sugars that are uh, trapped in the leaves during fall so that's what makes the colors so. and then uh another thing in the fall and the birds uh start to prepare for their winter migration yes and yeah. the a turn, an Arctic turn. Oh yeah. You wrote down, travels 11,000 miles in order to migrate um, both ways. Can so, you imagine? Yeah, and uh, I know the little hummingbirds, uh, they claim, uh, fly across part of the uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so they must be really far up there inside the uh, jet stream or something to be able to fly all the way across the, uh, you know, that's like 500 miles you know that they have to fly so i guess they get up there and look like little jets that's crazy but, but that's uh miracles that god gave them to yeah. do what they need to do it's crazy and uh let's see here like some of the pine trees or cedar trees and stuff like that they uh their leaves and stuff uh have chemicals uh whether it's a waxy chemical or some kind of 
turpentines or some kind of chemicals that prevent them from freezing. So that's that's another thing that's yeah. pretty incredible. And then, yeah. I'm sorry, I just can't read this. I wrote it, but I just can't read well, it. Well, let's and see. what does this one say? I'll skip that one. Uh, Prime time. For the Aurora Borealis. Borealis, which is the northern lights. The northern lights. So that's yeah. the prime time in the fall for that. Yeah. Um, and now, I kind of like to talk, because all that stuff was just facts. Yeah. I wasn't really interested in that, and they're probably not either. But probably not. What I really like about fall in the area that we have now you gotta know we're in the south but um i like playing in the leaves i did when i was a kid you rake the leaves up and you pile them all into a big pile then you jump in them and mess them all up and then you have to rake them all over again did you do that when you were a kid no we just mowed them oh go well, ahead different leaves you missed we out then playing in leaves did well, that any people well we just didn't have the foliage where the leaves drop from our trees. There's some that, that completely die off and drop off, but the leaves are, they just blow away. Well, we had a lot of pine trees they, yeah. that you couldn't do anything with them. Yeah. But um, I like the fall scents, the smells of fall. And I don't mean the goat pen because it's blowing from the north. I'm talking about um, all the candles you buy, the pumpkin flavors and the when you buy pumpkin spice coffee, it smells so good. I just like pumpkin. You noticed? Yeah. That's my theme. That was one of my things. I love that pumpkin spice coffee. It is delicious. Mm. And I know they're selling it now. We should go yeah, get a cup. Yeah, should. Um, let's see here. Football. Of course, this year's a little different, but let's just forget about what's happening in the world with football today. But back in the day, like last year, football is exciting. I don't even like football. But it's in the air, and high school football is in the air, and it's just part of fall. Yeah, I mean, I don't watch football, well, even before all this mess. No. Um, I watch the Cowboys. I watch the Texans. I watch the Vikings. They were they were one of my favorite teams when I was growing up, That you know, besides Dallas. And, uh, the Vikings? And some of, yeah, some of y'all might remember Gary Quazzo was quarterback way back when. Uh, Fran Tarkenton, I believe, was quarterback. So, and uh, another football player that I remember was Terry Bradshaw because my friend Gail always had a crush on him. And we watch his show now. It's funny. It's on uh, it's hilarious. TLC, and it's called the Bradshaw Bunch. And he's got three daughters, and they're it is funny. There's only been a couple of episodes. Yeah, so it, it is funny show though. Y'all should watch that. But. And then uh, pumpkin spice, everything. I've already said that, but I just truly love you it. You said candy corn and candy apples? Ugh. I don't care. I, I like the candy apples, but man, they wreak havoc on my teeth. They do, but don't tell Uncle Vance that. And uh, I love candy corn. He hates it, but I have another friend, Sarah, that loves candy corn. And usually once a year, I'll send her a text of me eating my candy corn because <laughs> she's the only other adult I know that likes it as much as I do. <laughs> And then, of course, you know, if you're going to like candy and stuff, most people like Halloween in the fall. And yeah. uh, It's going to be different this year. I wonder how they're going to do it. I've heard a lot of different things, that some states are calling it off altogether. You can't go house to house. And then I saw on something the other day where a man had built a chute on his front rails. Yeah, he drops candy down the pipe. They would stand at the bottom of the stairs and they'd press a button and he would throw their candy through a chute off the rail of his porch and it'd go right into their little it'd fall right containers. down into their containers. That was <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, but our school, I don't know if they do it anywhere else, but our school does what they call a trunk or treat. Yes. You want to explain that how they do I that? I do. They different um, parents line up in front of the school in their cars. And instead of the children going through the neighborhood, they go from car to car and they get all their candy and uh, they don't have to worry. It's in, in the lighted area. They don't have to worry about traveling alone or anything like right. that. So, I remember we used to uh, ride hay wagons. and Yeah, hay know, rides. Hay rides. We'd go around and they'd pull with the tractor and and uh, we'd ride all over town and, and uh, do stuff. And then they would do the... Uh, 
during Christmas time, they would do the carols and things like that from the, the wagons and stuff. It was, yeah. it was kind of fun. Well, we even did that as adults with our children one yeah, year. Yeah, um, all rode around town. Teresa and Toby had, the, I guess, a tractor pulled up to the big trailer and hay bales and um, but, <laughs> Gooby's yeah. barking. Hay bales, and then we would just ride on them. But um, did y'all have... Uh, a fall festival at your school when you were growing up for oh, yeah Halloween. yeah it was great we used to uh do all kinds had haunted house yes. had all kinds of bingo games yes. uh Food the jailhouse we would go and yes. you arrest people and take them put them in jail and then people would have to bail them out and that's how they made their money so they did that here at our school forever while i was working there and then they changed it to a spring festival so they don't do the fall festival anymore. But we even did that at our school growing up, elementary. I loved it. It was, uh, our elementary was bigger than this elementary. And you would go from classroom to classroom, and every classroom had a different, well, it was fundraisers for their classrooms. And, uh, oh, it was so much fun. But, but yeah, it, uh, fall's a nice time of year. We can enjoy sitting on the back porch where it's nice and cool. And change clothes into the three-quarter sleeves instead of the tank tops i still sit in shorts and in t-shirts you know she'll be wrapped up in a, a blanket matter of fact she's sitting on the back porch even when it rains she'll get her little quilt and put around her and you know it feels good i i am a cold natured person so you wouldn't think i'd like fall i'm not crazy about winter but spring and fall are my favorite seasons for sure yeah and uh, I guess people that have fall gardens have probably already Oh yeah, they've planted. already started planting and getting ready for it. That weather cooling down, get those nice and fine plants growing, you know, cucumbers, squash, you know, the, mainly your squashes during the summer, you know, like crookneck or yellow squash, but which you is know, my favorite. They have all different kinds of stuff that grow in the winter times. You know, I, I've never grown pumpkin. Jared grew pumpkins last year, I think it was, or the year before. Remember, it was. No. Yeah, he had them in his garden. He finally pulled it, and I think he fed it to his, his um, animals because he wasn't sure uh, when it would be ripe. So he just cut it off and gave it to them. But and we have thought about uh, raised garden beds. We've had a garden before a couple of times, and it it is a lot of work, as you all know, if you have a garden. And, um, but we were just talking about it yesterday that when we do get the raised beds made, what we would plant in it and stuff, because uh, I do not want to do the canning. Um, I just want to eat from the garden. Just whatever we grow, it. we'll eat. Uh, not quite like Jared. He grows them and he, don't, he doesn't like what he grows, so he just throws them to the animals. We wouldn't throw them to the animals. We would share with the family and the neighbors, though. We yeah. have a garden. So um, if you would all comment below and let us know what your favorite part is about fall and, and tell us where you live and is it already cool there and like he said it was 63 this morning but it's supposed to be up in the high 80s this afternoon so yeah, fall really hasn't fallen here too much yet but it's on its way. Well we were uh, expecting another hurricane to come in. Um, beta. Beta. It was heading this direction according to the weather forecast. And um, I guess this front that we have uh, was a little stronger than they anticipated, so it, it kind of blew it further east. And now then, the poor folks, Julie and all the rest of them that are up on the Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida coast, they'll probably get more rain out of this. That's Jesus girl, as you all know her. She yeah. um, is living over there and uh, teaching middle school. God bless your heart, Jesus girl. <laughs> you know, so yeah, everybody in that line, um, hang on, uh, get your slicker suits and your little uh, P-Row boats out because you're probably gonna get a lot of rain. They say it's gonna take days for it to move off. And we had heard originally that we would get about eight inches of rain here and then the next time we heard we could get 10 to 20 inches of rain here and now we're not going to get anything right. so it's just and, and that's okay i mean <laughs> you know we've had pretty good rains this year but uh still 
I, I just don't know if I want 20 inches of rain at one time. That's just kind of floods everything. Although we did think that the pond might get full. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of work I want to do on the pond, so I'm kind of relieved it didn't uh, fill up the pond because I got to do a lot of dirt work and stuff like that out there uh, as soon as she gives me permission to. Uh, now you're going to say that on camera. Why don't you have permission to do it? Well, one of the reasons why is the property behind here, the pond, and in uh, probably another acre or so, um, it still belongs to the uh, family, and I want to go ahead and purchase it from the estate and do everything I need to do to it and fix it up how I want it. And it's not that you're not ready to pay. Things just haven't played out yet right. in order to purchase right. it. And we I won't. just... He doesn't have a tractor yet. If he did, I would say, get out there and mow that stuff. But he doesn't have one yet. But the main, the big money maker there is the water well he wants to install because it costs a lot of money. I want to put the water well in there so that I can put a, and it's going to be solar. And I just want it where it would just pump daily into the pond and keep it full. Um, I've never had that like that. I mean, the pond stays full for quite a time. Uh, a while while it's full you know it with does. water it's it's holds water excellent but like i said i still have a lot of work i want to do to it, fix it up nicer and and put berms in a few places and so but and I, it's not that i'm against the water well even though it does cost way too much money in my opinion it's just that it's not in our name yet and i right. can't see justifying putting that much money in if it's not in our name yet even yeah. though it belongs to us and granny says it's ours it's just not in writing right yet, i so. don't have it uh legally done yet so that we're going to do that you know how it is when you you deal with family and and dividing lands and things like that well, you want and, to do it legal and, and everybody has so many things on their plate right, right now it's just hard for us to you know with this covid stuff going on to meet with attorneys and and things like that and mom being uh ill like she has been but and, give these but, folks a little update on her <laughs> well she's doing great uh the last week she has done awesome yeah we went down yesterday and uh talked to her for a little while and and uh, she sat there at the bar and, and uh, her counter and we laughed and she carried on the conversation with us. Normally she's short on conversation, you know, she just, you know, gets tired and, and all, but she's doing really well. We're, we really love her. She has uh, the beautiful blue eyes like my husband and um, they were twinkling and I, I just I need to share this has nothing to do with fall it's just a great story on granny uh, Gina is her caregiver that lives there and um, another girl that comes in is Maddie and uh, Maddie and Gina had granny sitting up at her kitchen bar and they were making empanadas and um, if you don't know what empanadas are they're like fried it's pies a pastry yeah, yeah. But they were rolling out the dough and making it, and uh, we weren't there, but Granny was telling us about it, and her eyes were twinkling as she told us. She said, I sat there to my bottom hurt, but it was a beautiful sight watching them roll those empanadas out. The way that she was folding them and sealing them and stuff, it was real artistic, and, and uh, Granny, her mom, said, oh, it was so beautiful just watching her do it. It was like an artist you know and uh, granny used to do all that stuff herself so i think she was watching remembering you know herself yeah. doing it but it it was really amazing and you all are so nice to ask about granny and that's just a wonderful story to share about granny because she's she's doing real well as of right now yeah she's doing fine she'll be 90 years old uh the 5th of november so she's doing good hanging in there still still pretty bright yeah she is you know so but that's all she asked God. She said, well, just let me live to be 90. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> so that I think he's going to grant that. It's so, only a few weeks away now. So, so yeah. Anyway. Um, well, I hope they enjoy fall, the first day of fall, as much as we are enjoying it. And um, hope you all will come back and see us another time. Check out some of our other videos. We have goat videos and dog videos. Yeah, just different stuff. Y'all got anything that uh, you want us to talk about or stuff that we've done in the past that you like, comment below. Let us know. Yeah. If you'd like to see Melody, I heard she's been trying to get back on my channel again. Uh, she, she thinks she has stuff to say, but... She and her boyfriend 
Oh. We haven't revealed that yet, but yeah, we've heard she's got a new boyfriend, so y'all know how she is. She just gets on the channel and takes over sometime. Actually, he's not a, a new boyfriend. It's just he's a hit and miss boyfriend. Um, well, you're making Melody sound kind of well trashy. Melody is something else, I tell you. You know, I'm surprised we came from the same mama because we yeah. are really a lot different, me and Melody. Uh, you don't think you would have met her in Melody if you'd have met her first? Lord, no. <laughs> she is so homely. I, I just, I can't, I just can't handle her. She's a homely, homely person. You know? I'm sorry, honey, it's talking about your sister like that. My me, twin but. sister that's two years younger than me. Yeah, but y'all ain't identical. <laughs> Y'all ain't identical, that's for sure. That's like, it's like day and night with those two. Mm. All right, so y'all be on the watch. And uh, knowing Melody, since she hacks into the channel, she's probably going to bring that new boyfriend on. And you know, and I've known that guy for for quite a while. <laughs> he is one corn dog, man. He is, he's also a homely looking fella too, you know, it's... I tell you, I, I don't oh know, man. Oh, Lord. And get a load of, his name is Joe Bob. <laughs> Joe Bob. I mean, who ever heard of that Joe Bob? What's his last name? Do you know? Oh, gosh. Do you even know I, yet? I can't even remember okay. what his last name is. Oh, no either. Man, you know? Oh, man. Well. A couple, couple of homely people. You, you'll see their kids, too. <laughs> you know, they do have kids. <laughs> and they're they're all homely, too. You know, I, I don't know. It's something. You know, something in that, that line is... My mama would probably turn over in her grave hearing you talk about Melody that way. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, Francis, <laughs> but, you know, you had some ugly kids. <laughs> kids? Well, yeah, the, uh, your your uh, stepbrother and <laughs> and Melody. We don't even talk about the stepbrother. No, we ain't going to talk about no stepbrother. <laughs> He's out of the question. He's out of the picture, even. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> All right, folks. It, it's still early in the morning. We ain't had no whiskey to drink or nothing. We're just cracking up at what he's talking about. That is some funny stuff. And no, I don't drink whiskey. <laughs> but Melody probably does. Uh, I'm just saying. That, that hussy, she... <laughs> She'll take your money and go spend it in them, in them casinos, drinking all that mm -mm. free drinks and... Well, I know they want to see Melody and meet Joe Bob, so uh, maybe, just maybe, One of these days. if I get in a good mood, I might call her up and give her permission to get on this time, but she usually don't even ask. She knows. Just, you know, the only thing I hate about it, they'll come down here and want to stay and stay <laughs> and stay. They're worse than fish after three days. <laughs> well, they don't leave after three days. They stay a month. Golly, that's why I just like, mm, please, no. But y'all know how family is. You can't tell them no. You got to let them come in the front door. <laughs> and show them out the back. <laughs> Jeez. All, All right. right. So y'all be watching for them. Okay. Well, well and uh, happy fall. Happy fall, y'all.